Holy shit, dude. I re- fucking trio. regret cutting mine off. <laughs> hey, we're back, boy. I the boys are I'd back. never see it again. Perfect. Dude, no, Knuckles, we'll you're looking zoom. hella professional now, bro. Shit's crazy. Dude, look at those fucking eyes. That, That's that what lighting. I said. <laughs> dude, did you see the start of the video? That's like the first thing I said. Question, question. Are you spiritual? That if we're put here, you know, by people, it's aliens. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll start off. My name is Easy Mac. Welcome to Uncancelled. This is our first time coming together after months of talking about this yeah. fucking shit. Um, Long time. My name is Easy Mac. I'm a variety streamer, hat slash YouTuber, Instagram, all of the social medias above. <laughs> 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 and uh, I just like to make funny content with the boys. Fan fucking tastic. All right. No. Golf clap. Golf clap. Golf clap. Golf clap. Golf clap. Uh, my name is I Knuckles. Most people go, just call me Knuckles. Uh, I am also a variety streamer. <laughs> Not as big. Hold on. You know, just little. <laughs> fucking, fucking Grizz Hold ruining on, the I'm introduction. Get it. <laughs> Dude, it. There's like a bunch it's of flies. Right I can see the flies. You see this bitch? <laughs> you see this bitch? He's bugging the fuck out of me, bro. I'm going to get him. Watch. He's, he's, he's already trying to fucking cancel my fucking introduction, you fucking dick. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, he got it. He got him. He got him. <laughs> 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 yes. No one ruins the castle. Okay, uh, go again. Continue. Again. What are you saying, Lux? <laughs> Restart it. Restart. From no, 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 no. You can keep going. Oh, okay. Okay. Fucking okay. run, bro. All right. Another so one. my name is. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. You hear? <gasps> Listen to this. You see yeah. the fly? There's you see another the one. Smells... <laughs> <laughs> it smells horrible. Oh god! What a great start. <laughs> oh god, it smells so bad. Burning fly is not attractive. Where is it? I see it. All right, fuck it. He'll come eventually. Continue. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, he's back. Right. He's fucking back. <laughs> he's fucking back, bro. Okay, keep going, keep going. So, Just ignore me. My name is I Knuckles. Uh I I'm also a variety streamer, a little bit smaller than Gri- or Mac, a little bit bigger than Grizz. Uh Excuse I, you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I need to start making my social media presence bigger. But you know, all across there, I had knuckles. Go give it a follow. Whatever. <laughs> nice. No, bravo. Go oh, golf clap. Golf claps. I like it. Well, some of you may know me. Some of you may not. The name oh. is Grizz. Oh, Welcome to Uncancelled. <laughs> I have uh, two channels. I've got uh, Just Grizz on YouTube, as well as the Grizzly Guild, which these two fine gentlemen are part of, and that fly is going to fucking drive me crazy. <laughs> and I also have a Twitch stream, the Grizzly Guild, twitch.tv slash the Grizzly Guild. I swear to fuck. You guys see this, right? Oh, it yeah. shows in camera. Why do you have so many flies it's in every that Every time I hit one, another one fucking Because he's, he's, he's out in the boonies now. It's the lights, bro. I don't know why. They love the lights. Like no they just, shit. <laughs> Okay. It's an insect, you know. <clears throat> Remember a bug's life? Don't go to the blue. It's Don't so pretty. <laughs> uh, Sorry. No, wrong one. Uh, there we go. All right. So today's topic, all right, we were talking about religion. Not really religion, but maybe the... Uh... <laughs> he couldn't even get through the word religion. <laughs> talking about the origins of the universe. All right. So Knuckles, are you religious? <clears throat> No. Okay, easy. Are you religious? No, I'm not. No, okay. I am not exactly religious myself. Religion being, in my opinion, the belief of an organized, the, 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 uh, the organized beliefs. So like Catholicism, you know, uh, Mormonism, cultism, um, you know, things like that. <laughs> you know, but me, not, myself, not I Muslim, don't belong to a... Jewish. You're not Muslim? I couldn't tell. No, I'm saying like I I like what I said. What do you like, have? I'm more Muslims? I'm more of like the science. Like if we're fucking here, it's from fucking aliens. It's not so you don't think Muslims know science? I'm <laughs> saying that the person that they believe no. is Mohammed and everything is an alien. Okay. He's an alien. He's not he's not just a Muhammad almighty being. He's alien. just some here, folks. He's just, you know, it's like that type of thing. Or like God with Adam and Eve. It's like he saved them from a planet. 
and was like, you guys are the last ones. And then they just told the story and the story got so big that they just started worshiping the story of them. <clears throat> Which planet? I don't fucking know. Okay. Krypton. Right. Krypton. Oh, I, love that. <laughs> I wish there was a book. Oh, I guess, I guess it's called the Quran, right? But <laughs> have you got a question? Have you guys ever read the Quran or the Bible? Quran. <clears throat> I've have, read Bible verses when I would have to go with uh, my aunt and uncle um, or when I went like with my fucking friend from my baseball team one time. But that's pretty that's much it. Oddly yeah. specific. I, I mean, I'm telling you the truth. Like that's camp, made me read a Bible verse. <laughs> yeah, I, awesome. I'm, I'm about the same. I, I, I went to uh, Catholic school. You know, I did all, I did really? all that stuff, but. I so you were never, raised Catholic. I was raised Catholic, but I did the whole <laughs> thing. I just thought it was so stupid. I never everything that we had to study for would go one year out the other, and then I would just do the same thing. Just remember the verses and pass the class. You know what's funny is I was also raised Catholic, and I think there. Let me put this down because you can see it in the background. I think there's an inherent problem with the way people are raised, especially in the Catholic religion. I think it's crazy how many people actually leave the Catholic Church when they're raised Catholic. Mm. What do you think? You think it's too strict? You think Catholic parents are a little off well? Their hands I, luckily, or? not me. Like my my parents are very um, laid back, and we stopped going to church once I hit like ten, eleven years old. I wonder if it is just <clears throat> the strictness of it, and they see now, especially. There's just so many people that aren't like going to church at all. Like they believe their own beliefs, whatever. I and mean, there's like Catholics. They don't even, you know, follow their own rules, in my opinion. Those exactly. Are, I, there's the a lot. Trust insane. me, I know a lot of Mormons that don't even follow that shit either. That's another thing, too. It's like, it, okay, it, I might be wrong. Are Mormons the one who, when they turn 18, they have like some kind of pilgrimage they have to do? They, they uh, go on a mission. Yeah, they on go on a mission. Mm hmm. Do you guys know what that's about? I, I don't know enough about it's, it. It's hold on. Let me make let me Google to make sure I don't fucking <laughs> well, say basi it wrong. basically they just school. they just yeah. uh, go on a mission in a different city that their church tells them to go to, and they have to make their own living and spread the word about or help out. Door door. Also, it's I'm thinking of the Amish too. The Amish have like a like a year period, right, where they get to go out. Rum Springer. Yeah, okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. They basically go, go get to live That's out like all their movie. fucking fantasies or whatever the fuck, or, you know, just go crazy and then figure out if they want to remain Amish or be like a heathen or some shit. I don't fucking know what they call it. They're uh, allowed to, like Amish, they're allowed to go experience, let me close that. They're allowed to go experience what the outside world is like, but yeah. after that time, and it's, only, it's not a year. I think it's, it's much shorter. It's like a month really, or that whatever. Sucks. Ew, They're, fuck out like, of here. <laughs> to go experience it, and then they come back to the family and back to Amish. Mm. But I, that, like, I could be talking out my ass there too, but that's what <clears> I remember. That just doesn't seem huh. like enough time for me. I don't know. That's crazy. I'd probably spend I mean, a whole month just playing video games. But I mean, when you're raised in Amish, I mean, what else? What are you gonna do? You know, it's so overwhelming Everything. to go into the modern world. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, like, that's dude, what I'm saying. Like, it's so overwhelming dude, to go just, into the armor world. You, how are like you go? What are you gonna know? Go what watch. To go watch. Yeah, you fucking know. Either Letterkenny, go watch either Letterkenny <laughs> or fucking Sex Drive. Yeah, and the, the it's drive. fucking hilarious. There you go. Sex yeah. Drive was so fucking funny. I with love the Amish. that movie, dude. So I, I, fucking just, oh. I, I was watching. So I watched this movie, fucking Hereditary. I don't know if you've seen this movie. Hmm. It's Hereditary. about it's about a family that like. Uh, they're living out their life and then their grandpa her grandma die or her mom dies and like once her mom dies she starts kind of figuring out about all this cultish shit that she's been doing and then like mm. you know like she starts getting all the paranormal activity shit it's a crazy ass story uh, if you haven't seen it i recommend that you go watch it i don't want to spoil it for anybody who's watching you know what i mean but <clears throat> at the end the there's there's a demon called paimon <laughs> paimon why have i heard this before it's a it's the, one of the eight devils one of the eight devil kings. I don't mean that. One of the one of the oh, eight, yeah. one of the that eight kings from hell. Bro. Okay, so okay, yeah. Okay. So I was listening. What well, well, the movie ended, and then Paimon came out and all this shit, and then uh, I go check my email, and guess what the fuck was in my email, bro? The title said Paimon. 
was like, Genshin oh, Impact. No. Fuck. Genshin, Genshin Impact, Impact, bro. Yes. Genshin Impact. They just hit me, bro. I was like, Paimon, why have I heard that, that bro? That was like, so <laughs> trippy. I was tripping out for like fucking five, what ten minutes. The... Like, what you the You said fuck? it was a movie? Yeah, it was a He's movie. Like, it's called I'm Hereditary. I'm watching you. When her mentally ill mother passes away, blah, blah, blah. Well, I guess this is it. It's a horror yeah, movie. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It's like a girl, kind of, she looks like she has a messed up face. The little girl. Her name is Charlie. My question for you guys. Oh uh, yeah, I see. You it. grew up uh you grew up religious, Mac. So but mm. even though you grew up religious, you don't believe in the supernatural. Angels, demons, none of that. Well okay. it's it's I don't know, it's kinda of like a like I, I guess there's like I guess there's like some of belief, but I'm just like, dude, is there really like I, I mean I've prayed and everything, and it doesn't I feel like that never worked for me to where it makes me want to feel a hundred percent about religion. I mean, there's just nothing. So you guys have never had an encounter. Like, you've never seen anything fucking unexplainable. Start swinging. I mean, yeah. I've seen, I've seen some explainable stuff. <laughs> what did you say? I, I, said, I said I start swinging. <laughs> start you're, swinging at ghosts. You're no. the type oh, person that's I, taking I, I, the, Bro, when you nah, said swinging, like I'm like, you don't have a girl. Nah, we... What the fuck? <laughs> you said you started swinging, and I was start like, swinging. what the fuck are we talking about, Josh? Not, no, not swinging like, hey, go sit on that guy's lap. No. <laughs> no. Oh, God, that's the example. <laughs> sit on his lap. <laughs> no, because you go sit on his lap and be like, hey, yeah. I want to go fuck your wife. You go fuck my wife. You know? <laughs> I'm not. Right. No. <laughs> like, just to get just to get it out of the way. No, I'm not into that <laughs> shit either. If Fucking If you had weird. a girl, would you be? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm too jealous. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny as fuck. Okay, so neither of you, you, Knuckles, you've never had any experiences. It's paranormal. Uh, I've had like a, a, I think it was like a sleep paralysis episode mm. or whatever um, when I was like 15. Yeah, that was my next point, actually. So you have had sleep paralysis. What about you, Easy? Yeah, I've had sleep paralysis before. Do you consider that <clears throat> to be a natural cause or a supernatural? I feel like it's just your head fucking with you, dude. That's how I think get about, through everything. Think about it this way, though. What do you think? Do you think it's something like, like what? What's your explanation? For well, because sleep paralysis? I if, because I haven't had like sleep paralysis enough to where it's consistent, and I have like the same demon or like the same thing that's fucking with me. I've only had what did you have? I've only had sleep paralysis like probably a handful of times, like literally like maybe four or five times in my whole life. What's interesting with sleep paralysis, though, is that almost everyone experiences one of several sleep paralysis demons it almost never variates from those demons they're well known there's like the guy in the corner there's like a guy with a top hat there's the black cat on the chest uh there's well, we're the not demon playing the... little nightmares too no like this is no joke this is recorded over hundreds of years of people across the world even before the internet before people could communicate before phones who had similar uh sleep paralysis demons all across the world i've experienced two of them myself i've experienced the black cat on the chest and the demon with the tongue it like puts its tongue in your mouth oh it's fucked mm. it's terrifying it's it's <laughs> one of the worst experience i've ever had in my life you know i and, thought and i've I... tongued some ugly oh. things before i mean I, I, the, one, one, the one of them that <laughs> like sticks out to me the most was i don't know if i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't tell if it was a dream or not but like, um, I woke up in the middle of the night and I sat up, and I see like feet underneath the. You know how like you can see light through the door. I seen the shadow of feet, but then all of a sudden I get slapped in the face, and I'm just laying there and I can't I can't move. That's like the one thing that I remember the most. Bitch, how the fuck you not believe in the supernatural because, when you got then, fucking dick slapped by a demon? <laughs> <laughs> like, because you, dude, because, because then you I wake up legs and then whack. <laughs> Dude, because then you wake like, up. What the fuck? You wake up and then you sit up all fucking scared and then you don't see anything. But how do you know you woke up night. if you were awake? You just said you weren't sure if you were asleep. That's what I'm saying. That's like, like you sit up, you sit up, you sit up and like, what, what the fuck was that? And you look at the door and it's pitch black. There's no light. Bro, that sounds like a fucking demon to me, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know about you, man, but I ain't fucking around with that shit. You ever play with a Ouija board? Never, never will. Never. Because, bro, fucking Christ, bro. Me neither. Dude, did you see how I acted when we played with the Ouija board in fucking in Phasmophobia? Yeah, or yeah, Phasmophobia, yeah. Now, I mean, what I fucking know. in a video game, but not in real life. Hell to the no-no, bro. No, I, I had night terrors. Happening. 
since I okay, this is fucked, and this is I think it has to do with this fucking fly. <laughs> this life is gonna end very soon. <laughs> Anyways, <fly>. uh, <laughs> I've had night terrors. Uh, I had night terrors from when I was like five years old until I was like fucking twelve, for like. A long fucking time, dude. Like years and years and years. My parents didn't know what to do. So my parents would like bring priests from like the local church and have them come like fucking bless the house. You know, they'd throw water in your face and shit. And you're like, Pfft. you know, it's just fucking, it was fucking, it was shitty, bro. Right. I used to Exorcist. Have, I, dude, it was bad. Like I could not function, bro. Like at night, I would get like cold sweats. And I swear that my house was haunted, bro. I had a fucking closet next to me. And I, I this closet was cold as fuck, bro. And there was this attic, and like, you'd go to sleep, and you'd wake up, and the attic door would be, like, shifted over. It's fucking creepy as shit, dude. And I'd have nightmares every fucking night for, like, seven years, bro. Every night about, like, my parents being murdered. Like, literally, like, it would be, I, I'd be in my house. My dream is I'm in my bed, and I'd get up, I'd hear something in my parents' room, I'd walk over to my parents' room, and I'd open their door, and it'd be, like, my mom standing there in, like, a white dress, and then she would just got, like get yanked into the closet, and then a monster would just fucking come and grab me. Is and then like another one is like like when I would have these night terrors, they'd come and put me in their bed because I couldn't sleep alone, and I, I was like you know super young, but I'd come <clears throat> lay in their bed, and I would wake up and I'd look up at the ceiling, and there'd be like a thousand knives hanging from the ceiling, and then they'd all simultaneously just drop and. Crush me. Fuck, that's terrifying. Bro, every night, it was a different you, fucking nightmare for like seven years, bro. You have an over, overactive imagination. Or. Like me. I'm fucking haunted, bro. Oh, <laughs> you can... <laughs> like, that was, it was so bad. And I experienced this during the day also, dude. Like, it was that, really crazy. Yeah, crazy. you probably were being haunted then. It was really I don't crazy. fucking I, know. I couldn't look in mirrors, bro. Every time I looked in a mirror, I'd see a person behind me and there was no one there. It happened till I was like twelve. Yeah, sorry, I have mirrors Before over there. Like no, I, I, can't, I don't fuck That's with mirrors, bro. Like. No, it was weird, but it wasn't like people talking to me. It was just I saw shit everywhere. It was fucking awful, bro. I have nightmares all the time, and it didn't stop until I actually almost uh, I was like thirteen when I stopped being. I used to be an altar boy. My parents used to pay us to be altar boys at church. That's why this he's is, experiencing this, is, this, this shit. This is how they got us to <laughs> he's be trying religious. To sub, he's trying to suppress <laughs> situations that happened. And <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch that reference until you just said it right now. No, I was like an altar boy until I was like 13. And then I was like, fuck this, dude. I'm done. And I kind of like stopped really being religious at that point. And once I stopped being religious, that's when I stopped having the experiences altogether. Good for it's you. the weirdest shit. It's the weirdest shit, dude. And a lot of people will say, and especially like uh, religious people will say, it's because like the more religious you are, they say like the closer to God you are, and the closer to God you are, the more the devil attacks you. So mm. apparently, so like because I was religious, that I was getting attacked all the fucking time. That I was like had had a demon in the fucking house or some shit. So I I hundred percent believe in angels and demons. That I do. I, I don't believe, believe in the Catholic right. Church. I think it's a fucking it's a sham. Uh, yeah, I think 100%. all churches are shams. Fucking. I think they are. Catholic, I think they're a Christian, scam up the wazoo. All of them. Yeah, the everything cover is just to get the money. murder, the conspiracy, the power hacker, the power grabs. Let's fly. <laughs> it's gonna die, dude. I might have to pause this real quick because I can't. I can't. I can't focus. <laughs> I got him right now. Watch this. Watch this. Okay, he thinks he's fast, but I'm faster. <laughs> You want to see some real speed, bitch? You want to see some real speed? Ricky Bobby, baby! I got him, I got him. Don't, don't even trip, we got this. I got him focused on him like what? a fucking laser. A like, laser. I've, I had a I had an issue that was actually fairly oh, recent. Bitch. Damn, got he got, got it. I had, I had an incident that was, like, fairly recent. It was after, yeah, uh, it was after my, uh, friend passed. Um... Oh shit, and, really recent. Yeah. Uh where <laughs> I was, you know, I wasn't wanting to go to sleep. So I would like force myself to stay up and I would just stay up drinking and just watching stuff and just It's called delusions. Yeah. Wait, 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 what? You were seeing shit? No, I wasn't seeing shit. But like I was I was forcing myself to stay awake to where 
like I wasn't like thinking straight, obviously because I was oh, drunk. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And you know, <clears throat> every time I'd go get up and grab a beer, like I would come back in my room and have a movie on. So I would turn off all the lights and just watch the movie. So like, you know, like if you're watching <laughs> at the movie theater. Yeah. And I would have like it was cold, so I would have my jacket on. I go put my hood up, and I would hit this. Okay, that I would hit yeah. the pillow, and it would hit in the back of my chair. So I thought something was coming up behind me, like a ghost <laughs> or something, like, like my friend back. being a dick and hitting me in the chair, like poking me in the back. So I would sit there like this for like twenty minutes. Ghost boner. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? And then it took me like when I was actually like sober to like realize like when I pulled my hood up, it was just doing that and hitting back here. Like it would yeah. reverb. <clears throat> Dude, it yeah. scared me for like two months. <laughs> I'm serious. It took me like two months to figure it out. Fucking stupid light. But because my mind goes fucking crazy with that shit, like I can't fucking look in a hallway if it's pitch black. Dude, me neither. I will no, think there's that. a fucking like Velociraptor, especially or long little hallways, nightmares bro? bitch in there. Long hallways are a fucking fear, bro. Like no, and dead ass. People call me a psychopath that. because I literally I'll sleep closet door open, foot hanging door wide open, don't even care. <laughs> Wait, you when I first started watching your streams, Mac, and I would see the door open in the did he black hole, I'm like, door I'm like, dude, open? this is paranormal yeah, activity. He He's about to get got. Bro, that's yeah, how bro. that's how you die, bro. That's how you die. Like, it's <laughs> open right now. Okay, closet, that's one thing, but like a bro. door, like like if I was to open this door, no. Mm-hmm. Bro, if he opens nah, up bro, enough, like if he survival. opens up enough of that curtain, you can see down his hallway, it looks like paranormal activity. Uh, it looks like that it. fucking room. Okay, do you want to know where my fear stems from, bro? When I was no activity. No, that same house that I lived in, bro. Okay, my mom loved mirrors, bro. She was obsessed with them. We used to have a hallway that spanned the entire see, house. See, see, look at that oh, shit. Fuck that, bro. That's terrifying. See, you can sleep with see? that open. He sleeps with that per- open. Yes, that's paranormal activity Dude, right fuck there. Out of here, bro. That's paranormal activity. You, you There's about lack, to be a you lack a survival demon instinct. that comes in and fucks him in the mouth. That's what he saw. <laughs> you, you lack a survival instinct, Mac. I like do? the. Fuck that, dude. Anybody, anything, anybody or anything could just walk in and get, 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 get. I get fucking <laughs> chills that. just thinking about that fucking movie, even though I know it's fucking stupid fake. You know what's crazy? I just left the door open, too. <laughs> I mean, fuck that, dude. And see, movies don't <laughs> but, really fuck me up that much, dude. I've, I've never really had a problem. I don't watch too many of them because, because I believe in that shit. But I, I can't, dude. Open shit. I, I can leave my feet off the bed. And that's fine. I don't believe in the boogeyman. But I also sleep on the floor. I don't have fucking nothing, oh, no true. space under my bed for the boogeyman to fit. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that fucking chill? I don't uh, fuck with that shit. Josh, what the fuck is behind you? <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> yeah. He kind of froze for a second. Yeah. Dude, do one of those fucking uh, what are the eye trackers or whatever, and they show like an eye. The uh, I totally looked. I totally looked at my bike. <laughs> I totally did. I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> He's like, "Wait, wait, wait." Uh, no, nah, dude, I don't. I don't fuck with that, bro. Especially with the door open. I cannot sleep with the door open, dude. I, I just l- literally I door would... open, TV on, or door closed, TV on, uh, and I have my R- my other set of RGB lights set on the lowest setting. It's the only way I can sleep. No, dude. I, I need I music. Literally... I need music. I literally. That's why I have the TV it, on. I, love it. I literally get home from I, I the have gym, a... throw everything off, and just jump on the bed. Don't even care. Everything's open. He's also like five. Oh, he's also like fucking six foot four. So yeah, he's that, a big dude. Still though, dude. Like even <laughs> if I was seven foot eight, bro, I ain't sleeping with the goddamn door open, bro. Like, mm, I just can't. I sleep with a gun under my pillow, bro. I can't even with the door. I, mean, uh, mm, mm. I just have an old set of dirt bike handlebars. I need. <laughs> I need to go buy a gun. <laughs> dude, they're they're fucking solid Wait, aluminum. Don't you live in Vegas? Yeah. You don't have a gun. I just haven't bought one. Ah, disgraceful, bro. <laughs> I, I know I was, the gun I want. I just haven't bought it. I was going to buy a gun, but, uh, dude, my house is full of them. I could now, right so now. I don't really need them. Then my little brother got like, he, he bought a full, uh, 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 full rifle now. He has, he has an AR. He has two oh, seven yeah. machine guns and like, and two noise, pistols. Noise. And my dad has three pistols. So I'm like, what the fuck do I need to buy one for? I just go get one from one of them if I need it. Yeah. I know exactly I just where they stash it. Oh, you know what? I should show. We, we have a gun in the house. It's just, it's not mine. 
you guys uh, hear about the fucking polymer 80s and the new law coming in with Biden, apparently? Uh-uh. Uh, apparently there's a, a new law coming into effect because of our good old President Biden that uh, is going to make polymer 80s basically illegal. Like, if you haven't built it before a Quiet certain question. time. Yeah, what's up? The fuck is a polymer 80? So you can oh, buy these, these lower receivers and they're, they're plastic, like for Glocks. Uh, uh -huh. They're like a polymer. Oh, and okay. You can, they, they don't come pre-drilled. So you have to make this. You have to fabricate it. So you take all the insides. They're not in it. So you have mm. to put the gun together, drill out the fucking, all the, uh, <clears throat> the parts, put it together. And then you take your slide and your barrel and all that shit. And you can actually make a, uh, a working gun. This one's a work in progress. I think it's really fucking dirty. I need to clean that one. But this is my fucking Glock 19. Just pick this baby up. That's nice. Ooh. Noise. Yeah, but this thing. Ooh. Real nice. Nice. Well, speaking about you sleeping on the floor, you remember how you were trying to convince me to get a Shiki Bhutan? Ah, uh, <laughs> hi, hi, hi. <laughs> yeah. Did well, you get it? No. So I got the more bougie version. I was talking about the oh, one you last just had time. to be fancy. I got the okay, Murphy you bed. You oh, you went with the Murphy. Okay. I mean, I yeah, it's Murphy space saving. Bed. So it's not as cool. You don't get the culture points, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I watch anime, so yeah, I'm bro. actually like, like legit. do you even weeb, bro? Who the fuck? Dude, <laughs> no, that's what, dude, my girlfriend would my girlfriend would have killed me if I got a shiki bouton. She wouldn't sleep over anymore. Oh, my wife hates it. No, that's that's definitely <laughs> damn. Just straight up called her out. Yeah, no, it's only for the office. Like, if I want to sleep by myself, shiki bouton. She, her, she has to be fancy. But for me, I'm a big guy. It helps my back to sleep on the floor. The fucking memory foam, I, I sink in that bitch like a fucking rock, bro. Just craters. It's like, nah, I'm, I'm a belly sleeper, too. Though. I so almost I bought my belly a purple like, bed. A purple? Ooh. Yeah, I almost I went. Those are good. I almost went that, like, bougie way. Because it's like a $2,200 bed. Fucking Helix? A dream yeah. bed? And that's a, and that's a queen. That's a lot of money. It's a twenty two hundred dollar bed. My bed well, was fifteen hundred. Yeah, I think so. It's twenty two hundred. Shiki bouton. And then like a bucks. And then like <laughs> a four, like a full size was like eighteen hundred. And this was on sale. Jeez, I was like, Christ. fuck. I just ripped my receipt. From I my almost bed. I did it. Right now. I almost did it. But I then I wait. started thinking about a PC and shit. Because uh, what I'm gonna do now with that Murphy bed is I'm gonna move this whole setup to the other corner of my room. And I'm, I'm oh. not going to use the green screen as much. I'm going to have like a nice like little background. setup. Nah, a nice little, little background setup. With the lights I'm going to buy like two shelves, start buying like <clears throat> pops and all that stuff. Bro, you should get Excuse those the GVM lights that I got. The GVMs are fucking awesome, bro. They, they get that colored light like that and you mm. set them up wherever the fuck you want. Comes in a set I feel of three, like we've gone like off topic. Books. <laughs> oh, long time ago, bro. Long time ago. <laughs> I think what now we're topic? just like remnant, like we're just catching up. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah dude, that, that too. I mean, like, it's we basically also what talk it's about been. What the fuck what we've been doing? Like, Grizz, you fucking disappeared for like three months on us. <sighs> okay, you know, out of nowhere. So, three months? Are you serious? It's, it's been no, a long it's been time. longer than three months, my yeah. guy. Um. Okay, so basically, I'll give you guys the rundown. Uh, all I get a beer. I don't even know, dude. Like, basically, <laughs> <laughs> you go. You want to get a beer? Go ahead, go get a beer. I'm gonna get a water. Actually, that's a good idea. I'll be right back. All right, pause break. <laughs> Go ahead, continue. That's the joke. Oh, I'm the only one left. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Did I see that right? You, get a, you have a measuring what? cup? It Is looked my, like... My, my cup? Is it looked a, like you're drinking a fucking spinning off ice out of a fucking measuring cup. Gatorade. <sighs> That's Gatorade? Lemon water. I couldn't oh. find a cup. So <laughs> I just used a measuring cup. Oh, I didn't feel like doing dishes. Uh, anyways, back to why I was gone. Yeah, why Very were you gone, story. Why did you disappear on us? Okay, so you guys know how I was moving or going back and forth between Fresno and Ontario, right? Yeah. Yep. So I'd have like my setup back in Ontario, and then I'd have her setup here in Fresno. So I was going back and forth all the time doing that like every week. And it was just, it was pretty awful. And it's like a four-hour drive. So I was doing like eight-hour driving, eight hours of driving every week just to go back and forth. Yeah. And then I could never settle. So I'd get settings down here. I'd go somewhere else. And then I'd have to redo the settings there or be doing something else. And we just didn't have the same equipment. Uh, so that was a huge pain in the ass. And then 
I basically decided that I was going to start focusing more on the finances for a little bit because <clears throat> I wanted to start getting my, uh, my income a little bit higher, my passive income. So I kind of focused on like uh, finance, stocks, uh, crypto, all that shit, and raised a little bit of money and started like going heavy in that shit. And so that's what I've been doing a lot of. I even started doing like Bitcoin mining from the computers. So I've been having those mining in the background for like the longest time. So doing all that, I was able to build up my income. And now I'm at a good point where I don't have to worry about going back to work for a while. I'm making a, a nice chunk of change monthly that's all by itself. So I can just focus now on editing and doing the videos and content and social media uh, without worrying about paying the fucking bills. And plus now here, I less bills than over there, even though I'm still paying rent at the other house. So that stops in August. That's my lease is up. And then I will be fucking just pocketing a whole bunch of money. That's what's up. And then that will allow me to fucking just focus on this. So that That's now that I have up. everything here, we're going to be set. And in another week or two, we should be back at 100% capacity. And she's going to teach me how to crypto mine. Oh, well, yeah, that's easy, bro. Easy. You got 3080, right? I have a 1660, bro. I'm trying to get mm. a fucking 3070 or a 3080, but all you fucking crypto miners are fucking <laughs> no. that up. That's true, but I'm not making me okay. spend twenty five hundred dollars on a fucking pre built. Yeah, no, it's it, but the twenty five hundred dollar pre built has a 3080. Yeah, dude, that, now has a 3070. Getting better than, nah, that, buy, getting than buying a build. No, that's yeah. what oh, it is no, now. I've, I have a there's a pre built. If on you want way. a third, if you want a 3080 made by Digital Storm, it's going to be thirty eight hundred dollars for a 3080. No, there's I just saw one literally yesterday. I literally I've been building them for Are the you past right two now? months. Check check right now because there was one yesterday, twenty five hundred dollars for a pre built on Newegg Newegg. With, it was a 3080 in it. Where? I was considering buying it, but <clears throat> I was going to tell you that I actually paid $2,500 last week to a software engineer to build a program that will allow us to get graphics cards at retail. So if you guys want graphics cards, come June, I just I'll want be able one. to get them at retail. Yeah, that's fine. I'll get you one. I can get you one at retail just one in one. June. Yeah, I will buy like mid right mid June. Now he said the project should be done, and that's one of the things I was doing. I was working on a product. It's a requisition software that allows people to get these graphics cards at retail. I see you just sitting back, Mac. You want you have something to say? No, I'm just listening. I, I don't think he I'm likes listening. this topic. <laughs> no, I'm listening. He's I'm just listening. like I'm. He's like I already have my stuff. I'm out. No, I don't. Did I don't you get a 3080, Mac? No, I don't. I don't have a the 3000 series at all. I have a 2080 super. Oh, you got 2080 though. That's pretty good. Yeah, this point you need to upgrade though. I'm chilling. Yeah, I need it. That's why I was so upset that I haven't gotten one yet. Yeah, we'll we'll get you one. Come come June, if the pro if the program works as I you know specified, then we should be good. That'll be just in time so, for my birthday. So you you made all of your passive income through crypto and all that stuff. Crypto does do a decent amount right now. Of passive because uh well for one we just had this huge dip and then if you buy a couple coins like the vgx and algo those mm -hmm. coins give you a percentage return so like your money is making you money you know so it's it's actually pretty nice so you put a hundred thousand dollars in at a six percent return you're getting six thousand dollars a year which is not too bad and then uh certain things like if you do like dividend stocks dividend stocks pay you a percentage back um for whatever the percentage is like some stocks give you as high as like nine percent returns and then, uh, of course, I have, like, YouTube and, like, the Twitch kind of is not is really a passive thing because you do have to work for it. The YouTube, you kind of don't. The YouTube, as long as you're getting views, you're still getting paid. Um, so that's another great thing. And then I have a, a couple other businesses that I'm doing on the side. I'm, like, uh, buying and selling on Amazon and eBay, shit like that. So I That's why like... there's... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut oh, you Go ahead. I was going to say that on, on YouTube, that's why there's so many people who are still, like, they used to be big. Mm -hmm. Like they used to be getting a million views per episode or per video. And now they're only getting like 50,000, but because they have all of those views, they're able to just to maintain. And yeah, they can still make live money. within so, there. As long as they're living within their means, they'll be safe yeah. for life. Yeah. Like if you have they a million still, subscribers and you just stop making videos and you never do it again, you could live off that for the rest mm -hmm. of your life. As long as you're, you know, not stupid about it. Yeah. As long as the channel doesn't get deleted. And yeah. you, you don't do anything like stupid, controversial, um, then you should be fine. As long as you're not, you know, living like an asshole and buying Lamborghinis every other week. 
like Jake Paul. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you live like Jake Paul, no, you'll have to make videos for the rest of your life till you die. No, There's no dude, way. That man. Or, has so, dude, those motherfuckers have so much money. It's ridiculous, dude. Yeah, but the problem is they they blow so much of it, and I I really genuinely hope that they have someone telling them to save and invest. Or some have some kind of like idea of how to keep the money generating. Because if YouTube ever goes down or their channels get deleted, they're fucked if they have no well, other form I, of I feel like Jake, yes. Logan, dude, he's a lot smarter than Logan. Logan. No, Jake, smarter. Jake has the whole fighting thing now. He he's he's most of his money comes from his fights, not even his YouTube anymore. Yeah, how much did he get paid for the last fight? It's fucking it was, ridiculous, bro. It was, it was like fifty million. Think they th it's it's insane. They think it's insane. They or they reported that it was like 1.5 million paper pay per view buys, which is all like I heard. Six million. Like that's a lot. Like that. That's a lot. It's yeah. He's he's it's, it's a lot. Like if that's if that was if that was history. legit, that's a lot. But like that number came out so goddamn fast. I don't really believe it. I mean, here's the thing too, though, is it now? I think they were just the saying world? it just to be like, look, he's just as big as Connor. No, it wasn't no, even it's that. Changed. It's because it's, it's, his, uh, it's, it's not about Triller anymore. It, it was Triller yeah. since it's not such a like big company. They were able to say that number quick because fucking Jake basically owned that company for the day. He probably signed all Jesus. those contracts just to make it sure that he could say the numbers or oh, say whatever he wanted. And the sponsorships wanted. and everything he's getting, dude, that guy is set for life. If if he all he has to do is put one million dollars in a savings account or some kind of like uh, ETF that gives him a seven percent return. Per year, and he he could literally live off that seven percent for the rest of his life. What what about like Easy. tokens and stuff? Like I, I'm hearing about this new thing called like the Eclipse token, and then there was another one that Safeway or something that blew up overnight. That got oh Safe like, Moon, yeah Safe Moon that one, yeah yeah yes, yeah. So, Safeway is the after school program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things going on with those. It's like Doge. I bought Doge. I I think about like a thousand dollars worth of Doge, and then it should blew up in like one day, and I just fucking instantly turned it over. And it's like you gotta like things that are especially hyped, it's like Safe Moon and Doge. They're purely off hype. There is no functionality or utility to them. Doge is a meme token. Yeah. It has no usage. It's not gonna build businesses. You're not gonna trade ETFs on it. You're not gonna have any kind of valueage really besides what people give it. So it, as long as the hype is there, it's a good investment. If is the it? hype dies down, it's gonna Pull dip. Out. Yeah, that's it, what that's what happened with me with uh with Dogecoin. I put a hundred dollars in it. I had like fifteen hundred coins, and then uh, and did you sell? Yeah, I sold. It was crazy. I wasn't even paying attention. I think my cousin. Did you make money that. though? Yeah, oh, that's a good. Bit. You, it, it's a win then. Oh yeah, that's good. It, the the problem is when people buy at like the high point, like say it hits point four, right? Like when it did, it when it hits point four, and then everyone starts buying it, and then it dips down to point three again, and everyone starts selling. Like you just lost money. Yeah, you, you you literally lost money because you sold it. If you had bought a point four, just fucking hold it. You never lose money if you sell. If you don't sell, so if you sell it, you lose money. So I bought at point one two, and I thought that was high. It was like point point twelve, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna hold it for a little bit. And then like the next day, it literally went up to like point four, and I was like, okay, so I just sold that because I like more than double. Like it was like two or three x my investment. So I just pulled that out and I was like, I'm done. And then immediately after that, it crashed. And I was it's, like, perfect. It's basically like legal gambling. It is gambling. It's 100% it, gambling. It, it is legal gambling. Yeah. No, crypto, most crypto right now is gambling. Except uh, most crypto only has an uptrend right now. And mo like, like most stocks. Unless the company goes bankrupt or the token is actually a fraudulent coin, everything goes up over time. So it might have like little dips where it crashes, but then it gets going to come back up. And it's going to dip. And then it's going to come back up. So in five years, any token you buy now is most likely like 98%. This is not financial advice. It's like 98% chance that those tokens are going to be worth way more than they are now. So if you buy like 1 million tokens of like BTT or SafeMoon and they hit even a dollar in five years, in five years, you are now a millionaire. And it's very, it's, it's pretty likely because there's so many coins that I can show you in the last six months that when I purchased them, they were like 0 0.07, you know, 0 0.007 a coin. And then now they're trading for $1.30 a coin. And that's in the last six months. Imagine in five years, if any of these coins hits a dollar, you're basically rich. If they hit $10 or 100 Bitcoin used to trade for like 0 0.0007 like a coin. Now it's fucking $60,000 a coin. 
Imagine the people who held that shit and then now they're rich. I mean, back Did when I hear? bought Bitcoin at $5,000 a coin, I only bought like $400 worth of Bitcoin, but you know, I didn't hold it long enough. And so now it's fucking 60,000 a coin. <laughs> Imagine Ridiculous. the guy that that traded Bitcoin for pizza. Fuck. For pizza. Oh, bro. Imagine. There, I heard a dude bought a drone, spent 300 Bitcoin on it. Bro, 300 Bitcoin. Oof. Millions of dollars you want, for a you want to know, drone. You want to know what one Bitcoin will get you right now? A sweet, a sweet at the Oakland Athletics uh, baseball stadium. They're smart, because, bro. Somebody because a sweet, that. they're idiots. Because a sweet right now, like they just like traded it. It was like a couple days ago or whatever. They accepted one Bitcoin because it was like sixty five thousand dollars to get the uh, suite, like for mm-hmm. for a game or to rent it for a game per game. Person for one day. Yeah, it's like oh one of their God. most expensive suites or some shit. That's to me. Or, that's it's like the it's, stupid oh, way to spend money. Let me let me make sure I got the numbers right. Dude, that's yeah. that's like you have to have throwaway money for that shit. Jesus yeah, even Christ. if you're like only a well, for my okay. coin early, and now they they were they're able to fucking pay it with one coin, pay for the suite to watch the baseball game. That's like that's me, that's such a nuts. stupid. That's just a, even if I was a millionaire, you would not catch me spending sixty thousand dollars on a fucking baseball game. I don't care how fucking good it is. I don't care. Like, dude, sixty thousand dollars. Like, that's what most people make in a year, bro. And you're gonna spend it on one day. Even that's if I was a millionaire, double, no, I'm not. Look, I've yeah. not been great with my money. Like, just because I, I've had shit jobs, like. Sixty thousand dollars for one Bitcoin. That used to be like two years of work. That was double my work. That I would that I would get paid like thirty grand a year. Yeah. Like now it's way less because of everything that happened. But yeah, like I would get at the most thirty grand a year, and this one coin doubles that. Yeah, it's insane. I can imagine having that money just sitting. But you know what's crazy is the people who do buy that with that bitcoin are gonna fucking regret it bro because in like a year or two i by the end of this year i see bitcoin hitting a hundred thousand dollars within five years bitcoin is going to be at five hundred thousand dollars a coin and Jeez. people see it even having a possibility of hitting a million dollars a coin for each bitcoin because you got to realize it's it's a there's a, a finite supply and now you are having large corporations like tesla pick up this coin if if the entire s p picks up bitcoin as a part of their portfolio bitcoin instantly hits five hundred thousand dollars a coin instantly and then from there it's just it's upwards that's fucking insane it's absolutely crazy and people don't I, not a lot okay people have been catching on crypto is getting more popular than it used to be i, I didn't used to be able to have people on facebook to talk to about crypto like it, it was just not a really a widely recommended thing. I have like a group on on Facebook, uh, just on Messenger. We all talk and trade like you know financial advice, and that's like it, it's it's crazy to see that now becoming the mainstream on Facebook. People are trading Dogecoin, they're trading Ethereum, they're trading like Safe Moon. A lot of people started talking about that, and I mean Safe Moon is uh, a little bit riskier, but it's super cheap. So you could literally put a hundred bucks in there, and you'll have like thousands of tokens. I think right now it's like point zero 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 something. I don't even know. So I just want I just want to say so I can, you know, fact check basically. Uh, the price for renting a suite at Oakland Athletic Stadium mm-hmm. for one year for one season. Oh, for it's sixty for is sixty four thousand eight hundred dollars. And at the time amazing. of this article being written, uh, Bitcoin was at fifty six thousand. So yeah. that's why they're saying that they were going to accept it because the season's already started. So if they're like, if you want to buy it for the rest of the season, you give us one Bitcoin, you have the suite. It's smart for the stadium, but it's stupid for anyone who's spending it. Well, yeah, the stadium, the stadium is a good end of the deal. Piece of fucking shit. So yeah. if I they, mean, they're smart, any, if they take if they a Bitcoin, anything, yeah, that it's it's so much. It's so smart for the old Oakland Athletics because that that fucking stadium that they're in is a fucking dump. Yeah, and that that's why I don't see a lot of people used to think that Bitcoin was going to be a currency. Like we're like, "Hey, I want your computer. Here's a Bitcoin, you know, or whatever the fuck." 
it doesn't work that way right now because it's far too valuable and far too volatile. Like yeah. you, you could literally couldn't because you could, are. yeah, like next week, Bitcoin could literally go down to $5,000. And then the week after that, it could hit $100,000. It's absolutely the most volatile thing you can invest in right now. That'd be crazy but, if it dropped that low. I'm like, bro, I'm no, dumping all happened. my money in there. <laughs> it went it went from the high of I think it was like twenty five thousand dollars a coin and then like within a week was down to three thousand dollars a coin. And see that's the problem is that people who don't have diamond hands, who don't understand the investing world, they freak out, they panic sell, they lose fucking life savings because they don't know how to just fucking wait to just hold. And like with this, what you're supposed to do when you invest, if I buy, okay, I did this with, with GameStop, okay? I bought like 26 shares of GameStop. Uh, my, I bought like 10 shares when it was like 200 and something dollars a share. And then it fucking crashed. It went down to $40 a share. People who don't know how to invest would have been like, oh, fuck me. Let me sell all my shit and get out of GameStop and never fuck with it again. That would have been a huge mistake. You would have lost so much fucking money. But instead, at, when I saw that $40, I was like, this is going to go back up. I like the stock. I bought more. I bought more stock at $40. And then, boom, it went right back up to like $300 and something dollars. And then it's been, it's been going around back and forth. Right now, it's like $170 per share. So my average is like $190 right now because I, I was buying for a while. But it's like it, it's easily going to pass that up. And the people who didn't buy at 40 they fucking messed up. Like if I had had a hundred thousand dollars to put at forty, I would have, and I would be a millionaire right now. Dude, there, there, were, there were so many like you know, high up people in the stock market that were so pissed off about that fucking meme. Jimmy's been fucking with people hard. Like okay, that AMC, shit was so funny. I, I'm still holding twenty shares because of Jimmy. Not, it, yeah, no AMC. Oh, AMC. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude, hold I'm it. I'm still holding it because I, I haven't made any money back yet. I'm like, Frank, man, why did it go down so low? <laughs> Wait, what'd you buy it at? I bought it at, I think it was $11. I bought 11 Oh, so you just missed the sell time. Yeah. It hit $14, and that's when I sold. That yeah, was like uh, maybe a month or two after we talked about it. It hit $14, yeah. and I sold all of it because I saw the crash coming. You know? <laughs> and then, it, boom, it went down to like $8, $9. I bought some more at 9 and so I'm holding right now until it hits another spike got, of like 15. Hold on, let me go Robin Hood quick. I got another one. It's like, I think it's a therapeutics company. They're called uh, Celos. Celos Therapeutics, bro. I bought them at a dollar forty-eight, and now they're at mm, fucking okay. 602. Oh, did you buy, how much did you buy? 20 shares. See, that's fuck, at a dollar a share? Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know. I mean, that's what like you, you never know. You never know. You but that's why the they money. say you they money. say you should never invest with under five hundred dollars. If you don't believe in a company enough to spend five hundred bucks, don't invest in it. But if you do, it should be at least five hundred bucks, especially at a dollar a share, bro. Because think about that: five hundred dollars buys you five hundred shares, and mm -hmm. then you can with five hundred shares. That means you now have options to do calls and puts. You can do options trading, which is is huge. You can do covered calls, and that's where people make lots of money. That's like where passive income comes into play. So it's like 500 shares and then 500 going up to $6 a share, bro. Now you're talking thousands of dollars of return. Yeah, it's good shit though, but you, you just got to find a place uh, that you understand and, and something you, you understand and, and you can profit off of. That's the basically, I like how what, do, just, what are you into, Nux? Huh? What? what? What are you into? What are your hobbies besides gaming and jerking it off? Uh, sport. <laughs> sports, sports and motorsports. So do you buy sports cards or no? No. No? Why not? Uh, just never. Never in never a cardboard? Never in them, no. Yeah, it'd be pretty interesting because you, you like the sports. You know about them. Wouldn't I mean, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you everything you want to fucking know, really, about, you know, like the Dallas Cowboys or something. Mm -hmm. So crazy because that's, that's how, like, my coworkers are. Do they talk all day about, like, uh, uh, right now, since it's off season and stuff, but all the people that are gonna get on the team and like, yeah, the draft just the, happened and yeah, the all the drafts and all that stuff. They they talk all day and they argue all I don't know day. Shit about and sports. I know nothing. Me I neither, know bro. Nothing. I, they're they're I, like, hey, bro, did you do you watch that the the game? And I'm just like the one with the ball. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah, totally yeah. the ball. Yeah, mm, touchdown yeah. goal. Mm. <laughs> like me, like, yeah. It's, uh, you know, I football. I watch. Mm -hmm. 
I watch, you know, obviously the Golden Knights because that's our team here. I watch so that got that got me more into hockey like than I used to be. Oh, it's I hockey. used to only watch okay. like no balls. How do I used to only watch like <laughs> uh, the playoffs and Stanley Cup. I feel like hockey would be fun to watch. I, I can't hockey, watch baseball. It's so much fun to watch. It's only baseball. been fun now with the it, Golden it, Knights. It, it's even more fun to watch like when you actually go when you watch it live. Oh, of course, yeah. It's insane, like the speeds that they actually go. Like you, you oh, think it seems like faster okay, in person. Oh, it's way faster in person. No way shit. faster. That's crazy. And like the like the good thing that a lot of people say is the cheaper seats are actually the better seats because you can actually follow where the puck goes. Oh, because down in front, you're not, you like, can't you see can't, shit. Like, for one, you can't see a lot of the yeah. Like <laughs> there's back, back there, it's like, huh? Well, hey, who got the fucking the puck? Like, yeah, you get to like bang on the glass and stuff. Like if yeah. you're up there, but like if you're up high, like up in the second, the second ring and shit, you can actually follow where the puck goes. You can see where the play is actually like forming out, mm. and you can see that they're actually running plays. They're not just going from spot to spot, like. You can actually see everything forming, and then when you see the goal, it's like it's like magical, or whatever. <laughs> Man, you know? should like should all, like, like all set up when fucking COVID is lifted to go to a fucking Knights game. Grace, oh, hey, you let me know, dude. Whenever, whenever you're comfortable, okay? Because I'm I'm ready to go, baby. I'm ready to go too. I'm <laughs> I'm out and about all the time now. Oh uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just saying, yeah, because I know like some people are still like super. Crazy about that COVID thing, but I, I don't even wear masks, bro. I, I don't like, even I walk like, into stores. Just I don't give a fuck. Dude, I like how we yeah, just so. derailed. <laughs> yeah, completely, bro. Completely. completely. <laughs> Do you guys want to go back or no? We were talking about like religion and fucking like the beginning of the universe. We never. Well, no, never... this is also it's also good, dude. I mean, we could just talk about anything. The uncancelled doesn't have to be about talking canceling shit. We just we, fucking talk. We talk about what we want to talk about, and the the, the and shit. If you don't like it, suck this... a fucking dick. <laughs> city, the thing about this is that we haven't talked in months, uh, so like actually talk talked hours. in months. Yeah, it's been a while. So a we're we're just you know chatting like we used to, and not yeah. actually like we're, we can't stay on topic anyways. I just, so it's I like wouldn't be able to. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, fucking yeah. scared brain, bro. Like, we'll, like obviously, like we'll uh, polish it up and everything when we get a couple Towards more under level. our belt. When we can actually, when we can actually like talk to each other and be like, ah, save for the podcast. <laughs> like, I, don't want, I don't want to talk to you about this. It's best we're on the podcast. <laughs> save it for the podcast. I like that, bro. Okay, I have one question for you. This is, this is kind of on topic because it's about like the origins of the universe. I'm about to walk away because I really have to piss. <laughs> go, dude. Go pee then, bro. Take a break. <laughs> Cut. Bro, How you been playing games still? Oh, man, it's been harder and harder for me to stream, dude. Honestly, I feel that same fucking way, bro. The only thing is, is that like, dude, the one, there's not really any new games to play, and yep. two, it's boring. Two, dude, I've been getting so burnt out on trying to keep up with the viewership that I have, bro. I'm falling, bro. Everything is falling off. I went from eighty subs to thirty subs Damn. a month. I, and that's the thing, though, is like, were you getting 80 subs consistently? Or yes, was it just dude. like one high No, month? no, I was getting 80 subs. Like, I could pull it up right now, too. Like the no past shit. the past two months, or the past like few months that I was um getting my subage. Yeah. Dude, I mean, I, I hit, get... I hit 100 subs twice in between those months. Because I understand you're trying to make it a full-time thing. Yeah. So you're almost in a, in a I don't want to say in a hurry, but you would like it to happen faster than later, sooner than later. Yeah. So I think really you got to just kind of step back and, and stop worrying about the numbers, man. Cause that's that shit's going to burn you out. Like you're already feeling like, you just gotta like, don't even worry about the viewers. Don't even like, it sounds bad, but don't give a shit about them. <laughs> like just stream because you want to stream and stream something that you like, you know, if you want, if you feel like playing video games, you know, just fucking pop it on and then we'll, we'll record something. But it does help to have the boys with you too, because then you're not, trying so hard to entertain because there's there's a difference between having fun and then pretending to have fun see like okay look. streaming gets boring this is what happened september of last year i was at 25 october i was at 30 november 41 God december damn. 54 january 67 uh february 67 
March 90, uh, April Damn. 80, May 80. Oh, no, no, sorry, May 34. I'm tripping. The book, yeah, May 34. Dropping. Wow. It, it dropped significantly. <laughs> it was going up, I wonder... up, up, and then down. Wonder what that has to do with though. Are your analytics the same? Same viewage? Or are you, you still My, doing the same stuff you were doing back then? Or are you playing different games? Yeah, dude. I, I play almost something different almost every day. Unless if it's a story, like a like a story game, then I'll play it for like two or three days until the game is done and then I'll fucking continue on to the next thing. I wonder if it's because I stopped streaming with you and they're like, Oh, Grizz isn't here. No, nah, <laughs> I don't I don't think so either because there was also because you only played with me like maybe once or twice out of the week and then the rest of the yeah, time well, I was we playing hardly. something else. Yeah. So it wasn't that either. But I mean, it was harder to make funnier content once you left. Because like me I and know. you, me and you fucking vibed so well together that we would just like tic-tac. The, the content was just hilarious. You know? and then We do just... need to get back to it because it's, it's so much easier. I've noticed even streaming, dude, because I don't even feel like streaming when you're not on. Like it's, it's I don't, I don't have the motivation because you're not there waiting. Like if you're yeah. not there waiting, I'm just like, ah, I don't need to stream. You know? <laughs> <laughs> fuck them <laughs> you know and it's like i don't want to play by myself i mean it's kind of boring like when i play video games like i've been playing a lot of Fortnite recently because my kids love it yeah. and it's great it's so much fun to play with my kids like they play on that computer i play right here so i've been having a great time but it's like when i'm playing by myself i can't play Fortnite by myself bro it's the fucking like most boring thing ever and when i'm playing it. with somebody it makes it fun because it's an experience instead of a game. No, that's that's the thing with me too is that like I'm seeing so much um, Modern Warfare content come out more and more in between all the followers nah. that I have too. And I'm like, do I want to start playing Call of Duty again just to make like fucking nice clips no, like that? Dude. I'm like, no, dude, because it's not fun, dude. I don't like it's that. Not. And I don't. You play, have and to be having that, fun. And the play thing is, gunfight. And the thing is, is that bro, I have no friends, bro. You guys, you three, you two are the only no, people I ever play guys, with ever. Yep, you guys are my only. My only friends that I have, like, <laughs> I, I don't have any real life friends, bro. I don't leave the fucking house, bro. Like, I'm I a cheap bitch. Same. Like, I started off. I, I'm. T- I started off sort with, of me, with uh, uh, Anubis, which turned into sh- in sheer perfection, and then oh, Will, yeah, Will, <laughs> yeah, Will <laughs> yeah. my brother, yeah, and then uh, and then I played with Woodsy, and then I met Knuckles, and then I met you, and then mm, Woods yeah, and just, Will fell off, and then you guys off. were the only ones that were like. Uh, stuck around with me when i was dude and it was better because we made better content and my fucking content started we did. growing because of you guys as well so when you yeah, guys and i started, was having fun which made me want to do it you know and then when you guys started falling off a little bit i was like fuck what do i do so then i started no, we doing definitely like the did. loner vibes and that was hard to do as i mean well. start doing honestly, cooking, like, streams okay, and like you know thing, here's trying a big to keep thing the too. content up when knuckles fell off because of the whole um personal issue yeah that really kind of impacted me too because i saw how like sad he was and it's like when I we, we when Mac and I would want to do something, we'd like hit up Nux and like he'd just be like not really down for it or like whatever. And then like that kind of just for me, I was like, well, fuck, like I kind of just I, I would feel a little down because I'm like thinking about Nux being down. And then I was like, well, I don't even want to fucking game anymore. And then I, it just kind of like snowballed from there. And then like every time I'd like be like, hey, because for a little bit there, I was asking you guys, hey, you can do this, you can do that. And then like Mac would be doing his thing, you'd be doing your thing. And then I was like, okay, I got to the point where I was just like, I'm gonna focus on something else. And then at that point, it just like I just disappeared, and that was, that was definitely me for hundred percent. But it's like I feel like if we can all three of us get back into doing shit, like Nux, easy, get the fucking Discord popping again, because that's one thing that kind of annoys the shit out of me is like I get that the three of us aren't active that much on the Discord, but it's like how many fucking people are in the Discord and no one tries to play with each other. Like, dude. do I have to be there fucking holding people's dude, hands? No, you're telling play? me, dude. I have I have like a hundred and some people in my Discord and nobody talks besides my mods. No one talks. And it's like, what, like are you fucking kidding They're me? They're like, just then, there. It's like, yeah, and it's like, why know. be in the Discord if you guys aren't gonna play together? Like, do That's... I have to have a fucking hosting party every time? If I'm not there, you guys can't coexist. Like, it, I don't know. That shit fucking annoys the shit out of me. But I, that's... I don't I don't get how discords do that like even like grizz you don't really know her but goddess like even goddesses mm-hmm. like her she has I, f- I forget how many i think she has over 150 in her discord now which is crazy but she also like she's in she told me she's in like 50 different discords and she goes and like she, promotes she, herself I give, her, I give her props okay. though she really does uh promote she a lot. puts in a lot she per, puts she promotes a herself to to a, lot, come in a lot which the problem is why, that. which is why she's passed me, and she's almost at four hundred 
followers and oh, like she, she has Twitch. a okay and yeah she twitches and okay. she's like she has 400 <laughs> followers now like in this <laughs> <laughs> um but and she's done it in a really short time that's good and she has like i forget i don't she hasn't said how many subscribers she has but i know she has a she has more than me i know that i'm gonna tell you something real quick okay which kind of it's i mean it is what it is but like my wife dude she started streaming right she streamed like twice and this motherfucker got like i want to say like 20 30 viewers on her second stream <laughs> and like 16 followers or some shit like that and she gets followers overnight when she's not even online bro people just follow her i'm like what the fuck <laughs> like how is this fair <laughs> hey <laughs> You know, this it's is crazy, this bro. is controversial for this shit. It's because <laughs> she has boobs. Yeah. No, dead ass, bro. Pussy gets fucking follows, bro. It's insane. Like people that's are like, what, oh, women that's don't where have I was an trying to tell goddess too. Bitch, I was like, yes, the fuck they do. I was I like, you, under, you have to understand. To, I was like, you have to understand. Fucking gaming, like video games and everything, is it's definitely still male dominated. Bit male dominated. Dudes want to see. Hot women. They want something pretty to look at. You know, look this at Twitch. Nice. Look at but Twitch these right are now. Nicer. Okay. Go look at Twitch right now, bro. T- dude, the I front feel like page this is all fucking hot tub shit. I feel I like this is why I'm losing subs too, bro. There's, it's all fucking inflatable hot tubs, bikinis, and yeah. girls with their tits out, bro. Twitch, Twitch has become a fucking porn it's site. Called dude. It's called Twitch.hub. It's not about PG TV. only fans. It's PG and that's only fuck fans, with it, dude. I'm so done. Like I'm not even. Fuck bro. it. Like, let's I'm, all I'll go stream. to you. Let, like let's all take our Twitch streams and just go to YouTube, dude. I'm I'm 100. Just YouTube. say like, fuck you YouTube, all. YouTube comes YouTube. before Twitch. I'm telling you right now, bro. That's it's where the like money is. Live that's where the sponsors are. You. That's where the analytics are. That's where the fucking search engine is. You can't even fucking search shit you on can't Twitch, find bro. Anybody on? You can't Twitch. find shit. It's fucking garbage. They don't push anything. They have no proper system. It's, it's fucking YouTube garbage, is it's bad at, at promoting smaller people also, but how do you even get affiliated on YouTube? What do you need? I don't even know. There is you, no affiliation, let's... basically. It's just like you get how do you monetized. get monetization? Well, but what about like the monthly subscription thing? Uh, you get monetized at a thousand subscribers. It's hard to get monetized. My second channel is not yet monetized. The Grizzly Guild is not yet monetized. I get people to subscribe, but when people can't see it. It's yeah, hard. right now I haven't been promoting it, but I, I'm still, I think I just hit 700 subscribers um, and I really haven't been doing that much. So if I push it hard, put videos out at least once or twice a week, start hitting the social media. You, Max, Max stream or Max video. I mean, the, it, the, it takes two, like those were, those were fucking gold. Yeah. I'm going to play that game with my <laughs> wife actually. Bro, it, it just like, it discourages me. That's why I haven't made the, the rest of the part series of it because dude, I put in, I put in four or five hours, six hours of editing, dude, and I get freaking five views. I'm just like, man, do I really want to fucking spend another four, five, six hours editing okay. another video? I'm gonna be honest with you right now. You need to put way less effort into your videos. What I if? I know it sounds stupid. It sounds backwards, but at this point in your channel, and this is one thing I've learned too from both my channels, especially the Grizzly Guild. I spend way less time editing the Grizzly Guild videos because I know the viewership is just not there yet. Until what if it starts do, getting like, traction, raw things. Do what? Like instead of editing it down, what if, like, because the way the way that he's doing it is uh, boss by boss. Like that's mm-hmm. how he was doing. It takes two. What if he just did the whole raw thing of that? No, chapter? not not the whole clip. Yeah, because then you'll definitely not get any views. Nobody wants to watch an hour long clip or none of that shit. If the video needs to be ten minutes. An but idea. you don't need to have as much editing. Like you don't have well, to I don't, have zoom I don't, cuts and the fucking all that and the fancy sound effects and the. Oh, I don't it, do any of that. Three either. hours. I, yeah, I, yeah. two three hours max. Do is, but the thing is, is that like the fucking things are like an hour or two long, and I have to condense them into like fucking ten to twenty minutes. You know, and that's something that like I always have trouble with, because the well, boss um, in between each boss was about an hour long. Do you have Twitch markers? I don't. Okay, on your stream deck, there's a button that you can set up for Twitch markers. Whenever a funny moment happens, right after that, mark it. So you know the timestamp for when that happened. Then later Definitely. on, when you go into post, you can look at the timestamp, and then you just cut out those clips. Or at least you'll get a general area of where they're at. 
the way, like, what I do. The way that I've been doing it is that I cut out a lot of the dead air and then a lot of what we've been, t- we, whatever we talk about, whatever we fight or the cutscenes. Mm-hmm. That's what I keep in. Yeah. And I cut out, that's what I've been cutting out. And it'll turn it out to be like a 20 minute, 25 minute video. Yeah, 20 is, is good. First first I wouldn't go six, longer than that. Six, yeah. 29. Well, dude, that, that big Ed video was 36 minutes long, but it was yeah. all funny. It was, it was like, all funny. That yeah, thing here's was the thing. Here's the thing. People would rather watch three 10 minute videos in, and you, they'll do it in one sitting. People would rather watch three 10 minute videos than one 30 minute video. So you that should is. split that up and make three videos. Now you're getting more content, which means less editing, which means you can post more. I guess it was just and, hard. For, it was just hard because of the way that those videos were. It, they're both there. Mm-hmm. The three videos, or was it four? There were two minute videos. I we just talked in between all four of them, and it ended up being thirty six minutes. It was fun. Yeah, like you just, it was it's, really it's difficult, funny. but you you gotta find a way to split them up. Because I know most people when they see a thirty minute timestamp on a video, they don't even click on it. Yeah, I know from analytics that this doesn't happen. So. If you want people to click on it, it needs to be under 12 minutes, 10 minutes preferably. Three of those videos would have been content for the next few days. Plus, uh, it, people would click on them. Unfortunately, that's just All how right. it goes. Every single video, 8 to 10 minutes, 11 minute cap. Yeah. I mean, that's actually very smart. That's the way to do it. And that's why most videos on YouTube I mean, are that length. I mean, why do but, people like Big Paul? Nobody does, but he's controversial. <laughs> yes, they so he do. gets the views. I don't know anyone who knows like Jake Paul. I don't know one person who likes Jake Paul. Plenty of people that like the Paul brothers. Do you know anyone who likes the Paul brothers? I can deal with Logan Paul, even though there's sometimes where it's like, dude, just please shut up. Dude, honestly, though, uh, Logan Paul's impulsive podcast, I listen to it every time he posts a new one. I like his impulsive No, their content is off the charts, bro. Their content is good. I don't watch any of their content, but like, I've watched all Jake Paul's fights. I've seen him on his podcast. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's that's the thing, though, is that these guys it's have mastered the art of not being likable, but still being able to capture attention. Which is so people crazy are watching his fights and his follow, videos. I used to follow Logan Paul on fucking Vine, and then as soon as like Vine died, I like he just became a fucking douche, and I well, he didn't like a YouTuber. So you know, it's and he became a fucking <laughs> douche. And other followed too, and like, oh, we're fucking rappers and shit. It's like, no, you have fucking yeah. Ghostwriter. Yeah. You fucking suck every day, bro. Fuck out it's every day, bro. Yeah, but that's the thing. It worked. People saw it. It got I mean, fucking viral. It was kind props of to them. Like, literally, props to them because they're making money and shit. Yeah. I still hope that fucking Jake Paul gets knocked out by an actual just, fight, well, like a boxer, I, an actual boxer, or an actual like someone well, who can actually Jake, try. Yeah, to his credit, he has become an actual boxer. He he is, can. He's he has a hand. He has he, hand. Yeah, he's, he has he's been hand. training a lot. But he has a heavy hand. he's still not likable, which you know. That's, he, that's he, a, he does that to himself, and he plays. He's he playing does it on purpose. He doesn't play the, the character. He's to, he's I, I can't believe how Ben Askren went out like that, dude. He's he he hundred percent, hundred percent didn't take the fight serious at all. I listened was to all the po- I listened to all of the podcasts that he went on, and he had the mindset of I don't think he's a real fighter, like like. He's and, not like bro, you, he came in there looking like me, and bro. He came and in there with the dad wrestling. bod, bro. He and didn't and train. He didn't he give a fuck, bro. He, didn't care. he knew he thing. was getting paid either way, whether he won he or lost, and it didn't happen. fucking matter. No, he that's, that's why gonna... he literally went into every yeah. podcast and was like, "I don't believe he's a real fighter, and if he knocks me out, he knocks me out." That's the that's what he said on multiple podcasts. He doesn't That's, even care, bro. He didn't give you a see fuck. The, the, okay. Do you see the video of him after he lost, bro? Had his wife smiling. in hand, smiling all the way to the bank, bro. Because he why, just made millions of dollars. That's why Daniel Cormier came out and said the shit that he said, saying, like, come on, man. It looks like he took a dive. Like, how the fuck you got him No, he got, he got hit pretty hard. That motherfucker got hit. No, he got... No, okay. Yeah, yeah, Here's yeah, the thing. You're talking he about wasn't a dude taking it seriously, but he did get fucking rock. Who has a replaced hip who has been out of MMA for like yeah. at least a year and a half. He's not. He's not. He, he's not when, a boxer. When he, he was not in his prime. Oh, he's definitely not a boxer. <laughs> he's he was definitely not worst, his prime. <laughs> he was the worst striking champion ever yeah, he was a grappler. in he MMA. Was. I don't, he used I don't to be a champion in one championship. Well, I understand the money. That's exactly why. I don't know why, he he well, I why anyone would bet 
on him. People were because betting the on him. The underdog will always get money. But dude, that, that's always. exactly yeah. why I got knocked out by Masvidal. Dude. He went for a fucking double leg and got knocked the fuck out. He he went to he went instinctual and was like, "I'm just gonna go down for a double leg hook." Like when he sees him running at him, and then Masvidal's like, "Fuck Bro. you, bitch!" Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it was great. And then, I mean, we saw what happened to Masvidal a couple weeks ago. Jesus, probably. yeah. I, I think the the fighting he, world hey, he, has he turned took into the WWE. Up, like he was just like straight up. He's like, he he tricked me. Like I thought he was coming in with this one. I was already throwing my left hook, and then I just got caught. Like and yeah. you see it. Like he's going for the left hook counter and just. Yeah, it happens. I, I think it's become a show. It's a spectacle. Everything's fucking. It's all just Fugazi, Fugazi. Ah, that, oh, that. shit. What's up, Yaxi boy? Yax, you interrupted a fucking podcast. Yeah, you're, you're in the fuck. middle of our podcast. He, 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 as long as he puts on the fucking camera. Oh, there's his camera. Oh, oh God. Where is he? Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's like, um, you know, the people who have Zoom calls and that one person who just like interrupts the Zoom call and he's looking all crazy and shit. Just the eyeballs peeking over the camera. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> He's like, he's like three again? frames per second, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that Australian internet, dude. But yeah, um, he has to get up early, so we're going to call it. I like this. I think we should do this weekly. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube, hopefully you guys stick around. And if you enjoy this, smash the like button. Check streaming? these guys out. Go ahead. Plug your shit, guys. The Easy Mac everywhere. Twitch.tv, Easy Mac. Instagram, Easy Mac. Twitter, Easy Mac. Everything, Easy Mac. You can find me there. All Same right, thing, twitch.tv slash I Knuckles. Uh, I Knuckles on fucking Instagram. I Knuckles on Twitter. I Knuckles on TikTok, even though I haven't posted anything yet. <laughs> dude. Oh, that too, TikTok, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, and then uh, for me, it's going to be fucking YouTube, Just Grizz and the Grizzly Guild. Check it out, twitch.tv slash the Grizzly Guild as well. And then Yex, uh, you still making content or no? Yeah, let's put a pin in that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's it, guys. Uncanceled. Have a good one. Have a good one, guys.